Today, finally, I'll be revealing my Fortnite locker. I have been collecting skins for over six years, so today we're gonna go through absolutely everything, and especially my OG and rare collectible skins. And whilst we're at it, we're gonna figure out how much my locker is actually worth, because I currently have no idea. All I know is I've spent too much money on this game. But starting things off, we are down in the uncommon section, starting with Yuletide Ranger. Uh, is a classic. I've had him since day one, but you know what? It's a skin I don't really use too much. However, we're starting off with one of our rarest skins already, the World Warrior. This skin came out for World Cup, obviously, in season nine hasn't been back since we haven't had a second world cup maybe it'll come back for that but it is a sick looking skin for 800 v buck all right what, what else we got? we got so we got a couple other skins here nothing too crazy i mean i think this was with the uh og default pack these skins we've got wild gunner i think he's actually pretty rare to be honest i don't see him around too much i don't even really know why i bought him i just saw him in the top i was like hey i got a cool fit on i'm honestly just gonna stop on the rare skins and the skins that i actually use because there's a lot of skins in here that i've never worn like i don't even know what the hell. victor elite i've never worn this my life <laughs> dude we've got trespasser here look at the state of this guy oh my god he is a goofy looking fortnite skin this skin used to be rare i'm not 100 sure if it still is rare but it's obviously the tracker skin it came out in season one i didn't have it back then but i bought it when it got re-released probably in season four i think and i've had it since then i know the skin is still pretty rare but i don't know the last one was come out another cool one in the in the inventory we've obviously also got the chapter three default packs there's a lot of those uh, i'll just stop on this one i'm not going to go through all of them oh we've got these we've got star spangled ranger and star spangled trooper again i think these used to be rare probably not so much anymore i've got all the ghostbuster skins which are pretty rare at the moment i know that much i've got the classic chapter two henchmen as well these skins are actually underrated they're so clean 800 v bucks get yourself uh, a guy with shorts or a guy with long pants whatever you want this is a newer skin sora but this one low-key kind of slaps i'm not gonna lie it is a clean looking skin for 800 v bucks another one of my classic favorites sky commander this skin is so clean man it's just simple and they've also made it so it's got three styles 800 v bucks what are epic doing they could have made these different skins but they didn't so small w there from epic we've got an fncs skin i actually won this one in a tournament i didn't buy this one so that's pretty awesome we've got nog ops this is one of my all-time favorites such a clean skin christmas spirits always bring it out around christmas time honestly i don't think there's a better 800 v bucks skin than nog ops like it's just such a simple yet clean design and it's og of course we got miss bunny penny ah oh, damn okay okay i see you i actually believe that these are rare i've got both the ferrari skins we've got medina and we've also got there's the male version too i can't remember what his name is but i've got both of those again another underrated skin low key i'm gonna chuck down my favorites how the hell do you do that wait how do you add a skin to favorites i guess you don't fair enough oh dude <laughs> we got king flamingo Sheesh. look at this man he is drippy also got a taco got a... i mean you can look at all the other skins here on the right i'm gonna scroll through them slowly i make sure you guys can see all of them i'm just gonna click my personal favorites we've got hayseed he's just a funny looking dude i love it we've got the white henchman as well uh another fncs skin i think this one came with the other one i'm pretty sure it was like a pack when i won both crystal another good uncommon skin i've never seen this before cosmic infinity am i the only one that hasn't seen this skin what the hell is this i mean i know it's from fncs but i don't, I don't know what that is i've got dude this is one of the rarest skins in the whole game by the way coal c-o-l-e why did i buy this guy I bought him back in season eight. I didn't have a lot of V-Bucks back then. And I blew it on this guy. And you know what? I think I actually remember. I feel like Creamy dared me to buy this guy. He was like, oh, look at the idiot in the store. Buy him. And now he's rare. He's actually a rare skin. The colors are kind of cool, but like, what the hell? It's, it's a B-Tech laser beam. Like, what are we saying? A couple more FNCS skins. We've got Champion Kyra. We've got ourselves Championship Aura. And then we've also got Championship Jonesy. Uh, I don't even play FNCS. I just buy the skins. <laughs> Dude, there is so many banger green skins. We've got Aura is well i think this is the most used skin in the entire game aura makes sense though it's a clean skin all right now we're moving up a tier we're going from uncommon to rare skins to so start it off what is our first rare skin we've got zuri i thought this was a fortnite cruise skin i'm not exactly sure but it is a six skin either way we've got zorgaton i love this guy he's a he's a classic little alien from season x uh, a couple anime skins we've got zadie i know this skin was rare it came back recently but still an awesome skin uh what else we got am i missing anything in here oh these skins are actually low-key underrated it's entire set the squad origins there is so many six styles you can use i love this one with the with the peely design but there is so many awesome skins here like you can get so many different oh, this is clean as even god damn look at that that, like, that is such a clean fit i really like these skins and they come in packs as well which means they're cheaper we've got veronica another skin that i use quite a lot it's also a little funny meme they wrote dead game in the middle of the shirt gotta respect the self-awareness from epic there 
<laughs> I got Trench Troller. I'm a troll for buying this. That's for sure. Uh, I got Tigeress. This is a big sweat skin. I know people uh, people like this a lot. Uh, we've got the Brat. I got the free Fortnite skin. Actually, I heard recently Fortnite doing pretty good against Google in the in the in the court case. So maybe this skin will be worth a million dollars soon. Who knows? We've got Surf Witch, Survival Specialist. Uh, we've obviously got all the soccer skins. Another classic. We've got Snorkel Ops. This is a skin that I like a lot as well. Snow Snow. Yeah, that's that's his name. Snow Patroller. It's a low key vibe. Vibe. clean back hair sick sick outfit like honestly just a drippy guy now we've honestly got one of my least favorite renegade raider variants they've brought out a billion since uh since obviously the original renegade raider i don't know maybe i'm tripping but it's a little ugly man i don't like it this and the winter one have got to be my two least favorites but hey we still got them all anyway because you know i'm the renegade raider we've got the free christmas skin we've got sled ready garth we've got the balenciaga skins now these are a controversial one apparently never coming back because obviously all the stuff with balenciaga yada yada uh we've also got sash sergeant this is a this is a classic every time i see this skin i think a tfu world cup era it gives me good vibes uh what else we got we got root this skin was rumored to come out because the patch on the sleeve was uh, especially on this one was a little bit sussy but they changed it what used to be red here and you know i'm not gonna say anything but it was a little, a little, a little bit sussy but they changed it it's come back now all the vibes are good now the rarest skin in my entire locker by a mile has got to be renegade raider dude it is my it's my og it's my classic it's one of the first skins that ever Ever bought i actually think it was the first skin i ever bought maybe i bought christmas ones first but this has always been one of the skins that i've rocked since day one uh and i'm not gonna lie when i initially bought it i regretted not buying ariel i was like man i wanted ariel salt grouper um which i don't have by the way if that wasn't obvious already but man i'm happy i, I much rather this skin over ariel salt trooper he's a bit goofy with the big helmet on but it still would have been a sick skin to have unfortunately your boy back then didn't have uh 40 to spend on fortnite he barely had 20. Uh, we've also got renegade runner which is one of the newest variants that come out this one's sick it's honestly clean and i think if you don't have renegade raider it's probably the best variant you can get it's not too much of a clone but you still got the face paint and yeah it's just a clean skin overall oh uh, we've also got reflex which is obviously fresh's skin i miss my man where, where is he uh, someone bring fresh back that's not lachlan we, we just need him back to upload a video but we've got the reflex variant i got this from nvidia themselves they actually gave me a code for this which was awesome it was one of the first times i got given a skin uh and it's a sick skin too uh we've got recon expert i didn't have this when it was og but thank you fortnite for bringing it back because i uh Every time I died to a recon expert, I was salty. Uh, Pit Stop, another clean sweat skin. Poise Playmaker, this is just the classic sweat skin. Doesn't get more sweaty than that. Uh, another one of my favorites, and honestly, an underrated skin. I don't think many people know about it. Nalia, this skin is clean. 1200 V-Bucks. Oh, man, look at the colors. They're just it's elegant. We've got Monks. We've got Mr. Dappermint. I'm also going to skip over all Battle Pass skins unless it's extremely rare. Just purely to the fact that I have every single Battle Pass. So going through them just makes a bit of a headache. We got this, which was a collab, I believe. We've got Cause Peely and I've also got Cause Skeleton. I haven't seen these back in a while, so I think they're a little bit rare, maybe. I'm just guessing. I've also got Iris, which was a pack skin from all the way back in Season 2, Chapter 2. And it's, uh, it's quite clean. I've got the female fresh skin or instinct, if that's what you want to call it. We've got Guff Gringle and we've also got the normal Guff as well, of course. Can't be missing out on him. We've got the Gnome. I think he's low-key kind of rare, but I'm not sure. Grizzabelle, another skin I really like. It's just the... Kind of gives me like pink ghoul vibes. I mean, obviously, that's the theme they were going for. It makes me feel like I've got pink ghoul trooper uh and this is my second favorite renegade raider we've got the gingerbread raider very sick skin i've got frankenstein i think this skin's hella rare and same with the mummy which i also have which we'll get to later but pretty sure that's a rare skin we've got focus another classic we've got the dummy skin i actually hella like that skin the colors are super vibrant sick got the demogorgon had that og <clears throat> no i didn't we've got the stonk skin i think he's getting rare as well and low-key a dope meme I, I i rate this from fortnite i wish they did more memes like this i've got contract Gilla, the uh, it's the, the fish stick with a suit on. Looking dapper. Corn. What else we got? We got the Bush Ranger. Bright Bomber. We've also got Bronto. Bronto's another sick skin. I've got Airhead, which I also think is a rare skin. I'm not sure why it is, but apparently it is. Absolute Zero. It hasn't been out in a while as well. Now we're going from rare tier skins all the way up to epic. Honestly, this is one of my rarest skins. It is the Wildcat skin. And the way I actually got this was one of my family members had a code from their Switch and they just gave it to me. I, I have a normal Switch, but I didn't have this exclusive european gold plated switch to get this thing but i got given a code so i'm very grateful for that but 
this skin is got to be one of the best skins in the game. We got banger after banger after goddamn banger. Look at them, bro. All of them are just, they're just drippy. I also almost skipped over Wonder. One of my friends gave me this code as well. I've been, I've been catching some Ws with these uh, exclusive skins here. We've got Tilted Technique. I know I said I wasn't going to run through the Battle Pass skins, but I actually really like this skin. We've got Tender Defender. Now, this was one of the first meme skins I ever bought. I remember specifically with Creamy and World Cup doing like the Fandangle dance with this skin. Uh, just, just good vibes all around from him. Sparkle Specialist, another one of my rarest skins. But quite a few in here. I'm not going to lie. Going through, I've realized that I've got a lot of rare skins. A lot more than I thought anyway. We've got Rick from Rick and Morty. We've got Renegade Links. Now, another one of my least favorite Renegade Raider variants. The fact that you can't take the tail off of this skin really ruins it for me. I don't like skins with animated bits on them. If you could take the tail off, it would be a clean variant though. We've got Polo Prodigy and this collab for some reason isn't coming back either. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, but uh, I've got both of those, the male and the female. And they're honestly six skins, kind of like a little mini Renegade Raider as well when you think about it. It's the same base model anyway. Uh, I've got Phantasm as well, which is a six skin. If you don't have this skin, I feel sorry for you. We got the classic Healy. Sheesh, look at him. We've also got the Mince Meat and this skin is rare because maybe it's just too disgusting to sell. Like I, I don't, look at his feet, bro. Ew, what the hell is that? We've also got uh, Mike Lowry or, or Will Smith. We've got Will Smith. What else we got? We've got the Gingy, the classic. I've got the unreleased Mutant Ninja Turtle skins, but by the time this video is out, they are released, but they're unreleased right now. I've got every single one of the Mogul Masters, some of my favorite skins right here. I wish there was an Australian one. I wish, man. Hopefully somewhere down the line, they'll come out with more countries for these because that would be awesome. Even if they don't compete in the Winter Olympics, would be sick. Got Madcap. This is just a sick design skin, to be honest. Got the little bits of slurp all over him. Nice colors. I rate it. I've got Isabel. Iconic. This is an extremely rare skin. I don't remember how I got this, but I've got that in the scenario emote. Human Bill. Dude, a classic. Another classic. I've got Honor Guard. This was one of the first exclusive skins I had as well. Heidi. Goku Black. Ginger Gunner. Ghoul Trooper. However, I don't have the... What the hell is that? That ain't no Ghoul Trooper, but I don't have the OG variant for Ghoul Trooper. Unfortunately, it's one of the very few skins I wish I had. Fish Thick, of course. Fabio. Elite Agent. Deep Sea Destroyer and Deep Sea Dominator. These are rare for some reason. I think they're just another one of those skins that are that bad. No one buys them except for me for whatever reason. We've got the OG Doggo as well. Cloaked Shadow. I haven't seen this skin in ages as well as Cloaked Star. Both of these are they're getting pretty rare. Chani is another one of those super clean skins. And of course, you know, we had to get the full Golden Brutus. There's no way I was missing out on that. We've got Arachne Couture. Now, this skin is extremely random. Like, I don't know why I vibe with it so much, but it's just the back is so clean. You got the nice purple shirt, gray hair, gray pants. I just, I think it's a sick skin overall, and I don't see many people rocking it. We've also got all the male Mogul Masters as well, or the Alpine Aces, if you want to call them that. Now, I think this is the rarest skin. Maybe it's tied with Renegade Raider, but I think statistically, this is the rarest skin I have in the entire game. It is Agent Peely in full gold, and if you don't understand what you need to do to get this you needed level 300 before creative gave you xp like it does now it was level 300 of playing the game 12 hours a day and i got this legitimate no glitches i was a, i was a degenerate i still am but i didn't go outside for days probably weeks at a time to get this goddamn thing well I, actually i was uploading videos but i got this along the way one of my proudest achievements or maybe not so proud because yeah but it's a six skin anyway we've got the new adventure peely this is from lego fortnite there is so many peelys in this game now it is ridiculous now now it's time to go from epic skins up to legendary. I got female C day, vertex. I wish I had the purple variant of this, but probably would end up being a skin I don't rock anyway. We got Vegeta and OG John Wick or the Reaper. It's John Wick. Look at him, man. Spider Knights. Obviously got Goku. We've got Gohan. We've got the Save the World skins as well. You get this for buying Save the World. This was from an exclusive Xbox. It's the Rogue Spider Knight, and you only got it if you had a very specific type of Xbox. And I just got lucky and I bought that Xbox. I didn't even mean to it just came with the code and uh yeah now i've got myself probably one of the sickest skins in the game you got this variant and then you've also got this which is the green and black which kind of reminds me of razor a little bit and then you've just got the full black and white like god damn oh my god these exclusive skins need to come back or well, not not these ones in particular but they need to start making some more red knight another classic skin peter griffin already got him full maxed out look at him golden peter griffin looking drippy we've got the omega and of course you know your boy had to get max omega lights oh my god if you don't have max and mega lights you are a noob all right that's all i'm saying 
And you know what's even crazier about this? I got the level, I think it was like level 80 you needed. I got it in the very last game I played. It doesn't get more crazy than that. I leveled up, unlocked it, and I didn't even know if I got it until the, the servers came back up. And I checked, bang, got it. I must have squeezed in by like 100 XP. We got Optimus Prime. Ooh, dude, we got some, we're getting, we're getting into the good skins now. Leviathan, I love this skin. It's just such a goofy concept. We've got the actual John Wick, Joltara. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I do have every single superhero skin. We've got the Havoc skin, which is also super rare. It's a Twitch exclusive skin, which you could only get from having Twitch Prime back in season three. We've got Frostbite, which was another code related rare skin. I don't even know how you had to get this one, but Glow, again, another exclusive skin. I'm pulling exclusive skins just left, right, and center. <laughs> You'll never guess it. Another exclusive skin. Eon, you had to get an Xbox for this. You know what? I'm not going to admit to anything, but I don't know how I got this code. That's all I'm going to say. We've got Nut Shot. <laughs> no, no, not Nut Shot. Crack Shot. Black Knight. We're getting into the super good skins now. All the Star Wars skins just bang, 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 all in a row. Look at them. I've got both Slurp packs. And honestly, I like this skin a lot. Slurpentine, it's it's clean. I've got some weird skin taste, though. I swear no one else is picking out these random ass skins. We got Big Chuggers. God damn. Now we've got these, which is weird. These shadow skins. I don't really understand where they ever fit into the storyline or anything like that, but they're here. Thanos, of course. Got all the Spider-Men in a row and Spider-Gwen, of course. I've got all the Marvel skins, I believe. Every single one of them. I also have, where is it? I also have Black Widow, which was rare up until recently. They brought her out again. Why did they do that? I don't understand, but I had her OG. I've also got the pickaxe, which they didn't bring back, which is a little bit weird to me, but we do have that. Deadpool, another, another classic skin. Now, we're getting into the icon series skins and i have every single icon skin travis scott cypher pk we've got both the kid Leroy's, the weekend we've got m ms ariana grande this game is a multiverse i'm not going to run through all of them i'm going to scroll through and just pick out some of my favorites mr beast very iconic loser fruit lachlan my homie laser beam oh dude i still remember getting the laser beam skin early i felt like a goddamn beast running around with laser beam skin we've got flakes power uh we've got jin jin jinny jinnius anticlopo the, we got him. Yep, we got that guy. We got Bruno Mars, Booga. Now we're going from icon skins to gaming legend skins. Now, starting things off hot, we've got the Psycho Bandit, which was from Borderlands. And this is still one of the rarest and sickest skins from back in the day. It is awesome. I've got Lara Croft. I was going to say Halo. We've got Master Chief from Halo. We've got this guy. I don't even know who the hell this is. Gully? Gully? is from Street Fighter, but he... Dude, look at the size of his goddamn arm. We've got the Ripoff Hulk. Chun-Li, of course. Like, why would we not have Chun-Li? We got the Goat from goat simulator we've got both the league of legends collabs we've got arcane jinx and we've also got vi we've got all the winter skins and like i said the permafrost raider is one of my least favorite renegade raiders it's just a bit i don't like the texture i like smooth skins we've got polar peely we've got a uh, frozen love ranger one of the best meme skins there is we've got all the dc series skins as well i'm not going to go through all of them individually and then finally we have got the dark series which we own all of all right now it is time to calculate how much every single skin costs me i have have 246 uncommon skins at a total of 800 v bucks per skin oh my god just for uncommon skins alone i have spent 196,800 v bucks on green skins alone oh next up rare skins i own 431 skins of if we times it by 1200 v bucks we get 517,200 v bucks on rare skins alone i'm starting to regret a couple of my choices next up for epic I have got 588 skins at 1500 V-Bucks each, which totals 882,000 V-Bucks. Uh, yeah, I need help. Next up, I've got 48 Icon skins at about 1500 V-Bucks each, give or take. Cost me 72,000 V-Bucks as well. I have got 200 Legendary skins at 2000 V-Bucks each, which means 400,000 on Legendary skins. Now, obviously, this number isn't going to be completely accurate because of Battle Pass skins, packs, yada, yada, yada. But I have skipped over quite a few skins as well, like Gaming Legends, Shadow Pack, ice skins so it will even out a bit this also doesn't even include the consoles i had to buy to get all the exclusive skins i have all right i have calculated the total amount i haven't pressed enter yet we're gonna press it and see it together three two one oh god that's awful two million and sixty eight thousand v bucks on skins only what does that equal in dollars i don't even think i want to know 
All right, now we're moving on to pickaxes, which I'm going to run through really quickly because there's only a few that I actually use. All up, I have got myself 893 pickaxes and I probably use 20. But again, starting from the bottom, we'll go through any that I think are unique. We've got the OG Fortnite pickaxe, honestly, one of the cleaner ones that I use. I've got the crowbar from the Vault Guardian, which I think was from a, from a set. I'm not sure. I've got Stealth Angler, which is rare. It's from a pack that you had to get with an exclusive skin. Gully Skepta. I've got the Raiders Revenge from the Referrer Friend. I've got all the Save the World ones. We got the dummy pickaxe. I'm just going through these really quickly because obviously you guys can see all the pickaxes, but I'm going to pick the ones that I like the most. I got the lucky pickaxe. We've got icebreaker, driver, chew toy, vision pickaxe. That one's really sick. We've got the thud thumper. <laughs> what a name for that. I didn't even know that was called that. We've got the love one from Valentine's Day. Studded axe, of course, the classic star one. Spectral axe. The scythe, one of the most used pickaxes in the entire game, but for a very good reason. The love lawn is honestly one of the sickest pickaxes in the game. A little bit underrated i'm not gonna lie we've got the one from the goku sets this one from og battle pass the gnome one another clean pickaxe I actually like how this one sounds the empire axe we've got the og crowbar you could only get this in the getaway game mode and now it's extremely rare to have cliffhanger close shave i had these both og they've come back since axe caliber from the season two battle pass this is honestly the pickaxe you're gonna see me rocking most raiders revenge still one of the best purchases i've ever made it's such a clean skin the noise is so unique the look is so unique just love it We've got Rainbow Smash, Pink Flamingo, Pick Squeak, Minty Axe. This is super rare. Had to get it through a code. Again, got given that by a friend. A very lucky man. Global Axe. Honestly, a very cool design. Bit clunky, but still sick. We've got Death Death Valley from Season 1. I actually had that back in Season 1. The Candy Axe. ACDC from the Season 2 Battle Pass. Got the Slurp Pickaxes, Spider Man Pickaxes, all the Marvel ones. Ooh, another really clean one. Harley Hitter. And uh, that is pretty much all the pickaxes I have. And the ones that I use, the ones I use are on favorite. I got 25 in favorite. So these are mainly the ones you're going to see me rocking in videos. They're just all so clean. All right, I've done the maths. On green pickaxes, I have spent 73,000 V-Bucks on 146 pickaxes. On blue rarity, I've spent 307,200 V-Bucks on 384 pickaxes. Purple, Icon, Shadow, and all the other rarities, I've combined them into one, and I've spent 354,000 V-Bucks on all those rarities. All combined, that means I've spent 734,000 V-Bucks on pickaxes. Ah, uh, it's better burning, man. It's burning my soul. But now it's time to move on to the emotes, the final part of the locker. All right, to start things off, I'm going here. I'm just setting it straight to emotes. I have got 660 actual emotes or all up for the emoticon area. I've got 1,434, but actual emotes, 660. Only going to go through very quickly because there is too many emotes in this game. Default dance, of course. Uh, we've got the wavy C, -la -la, another classic. Oh, dude, this is a good one. Swagger strut. I love this one. The Conor McGregor walk. We've got the rain. We've got another rain. Look at this one where you stand on a little stick and look out to the distance. That one's pretty clean. You know what? Let's make things a little bit easy. I'm going to go through my favorites. I've got them favorited for a reason. I want to use them. So let's do that. We got Sasquatching. Dude, this is just a funny looking emote, huh? Look at it. We got, I don't know, just a good shrug little, I don't know what's going on. Have a seat. Dude, another good one. Face palm. We got Wiggle. This one used to be rare. Might still be rare. I don't know. I don't actually have that many rare emotes. Pai Chi. Taco time. Showstopper. Scenario. Dude, this is such a banger. Huh? Oh, copyright free music because we can't have that on the channel. No, this emote is actually, uh, this emote is so sick. We've got Pickin. I don't actually know why I have this in here. I don't use that, but it's in here anyway. We've got Moon Bounce, Make It Rain, Cartwheeling, Conga, Full Tilt, which is just the Naruto run, Island Vibes, Jumper Jets, Signature Shuffle, just a clean little remix, Llama Bell, Dance Therapy, Breakneck, The Renegade. I know, dude, hey, when this came out, that was iconic. Maximum Bounce. I don't know. I just love the tune on that one. Uh, the Gritty. If this isn't in your locker, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's up with you, bro. We got Frolic. I just, I don't know why I like this emote so much. I feel like it's, it's obnoxious. That's why I like it. We got Build Up, which is Bella Porsche's emote, I think. We got the Bim, Bam, Boom. The bim. I can't play the music because it's copyright. Uh, we got It's Dynamite. Again, can't play that because it's copyright. And then finally, I'm Diamond. So we got some bangers in here. Uh, we also do have, uh, of course, we've got Laugh It Up. This is another classic. I don't know why that's not my favorite. And we've got Take the L, uh, just some of my favorite emotes. While we're scrolling, we're going to do the maths on how much I have actually spent on emotes. So all up, I have 660 emotes at a price of 500 V-Bucks each. It totals up to 330,000 V-Bucks on emotes. All right, now the final thing we've all been waiting for is how much money have I actually spent on the game all up? I'm not going to include exclusives. This is purely skins. We have got 2,068,000 V-Bucks 
on skins, 734,000 V-Bucks on pickaxes, and we've got 330,000 V-Bucks on emotes. All up, that totals to 3.1 million V-Bucks. That doesn't even include the exclusive skins I have. And if we divide that by 100, because each V-Buck is roughly one cent, $31,320. And I'm honestly going to add $2,500 to that for exclusive skins because I have so many, which totals it to $33,820. Please use code mouse so I can uh, stop my skin addiction. That would be great.